We've had a, a just isolated outages during the day today so far, but we are anticipating, you know, possibilities of outages overnight. Volunteers with Hattiesburg Unites to Rebuild and Mississippi Power Company spent the one year anniversary clearing debris of damaged homes. Mississippi Power, in conjunction with NASA, hosted the first I Can Girls in Engineering camp on Wednesday. A certain group of folks often remaining behind the scenes while playing a huge part in our daily lives is in the spotlight today. The Mississippi Power Driven Renew Our Rivers campaign operated on two locations on the Gulf Coast today. Some of our new classes this year are Energy Zone, which is sponsored by Mississippi Power, and they learn all about being um, a lineman or uh, being in the power industry. According to Mississippi Power Mass Market Planner Mark David Howard, air conditioning takes up a big chunk of your power bill in the summer. But there are ways to cool your home without eating a hole in your wallet. An iconic South Mississippi power plant that provided electricity for nearly 70 years is being demolished. Petals Plant Eaton, which was Mississippi Power's company's first power plant, is coming down. An international contingent was on hand today to get a look at the Kemper County coal plant site and find out what is happening there. It's a scam against Mississippi Power customers, both commercial and residential, and it's already hit eight customers in the Laurel area. Today, Mississippi Power put on a seminar for the Ocean Springs Fire Department on electrical safety. Nine months after flying into a distribution line in Biloxi, an eagle named Canaan is back flying the friendly skies.